Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So with this video, I am going to share with you uh, one amazing library that will allow you to implement a uh, color picker into your application with uh, Jetpack Compose. Now this library will also allow you to implement uh, image color picker and uh, some other functionalities as well. So first, as you can see in this uh, application, I'm going to show you how this uh, color picker uh, will actually look like. So at the center of our screen, uh, we have one uh, custom component, which is the part of this library, of course. And with that component, we can basically pick uh, each and every color from this uh, color picker, right? And also uh, down below, we have some more uh, custom components like this uh, alpha slider, which will allow us to change the alpha value of our uh, selected color. And also below that we have a one more component, a brightness component, that will allow us to change the brightness of that uh, selected color as well. Uh, there is also uh, one more component here uh, on the top of our uh, screen right there, which is uh, called the alpha tile. And this component will just uh, display uh, the specific color that we selected uh, in our color picker, or with those uh, two components uh, for brightness and the alpha value. Now, the other component that is available within this library is um, uh, Image Color Picker. So now I'm going to show you that uh, Image Color Picker as well. So basically with that component, uh, we will be able to choose uh, any uh, image from our device, so any drawable uh, resource, and uh, pick uh, some color from that resource by ourselves. Okay, so as you can see down below, we can also see those um, uh, same components like uh, alpha and brightness uh, sliders, but this time we are not choosing a color from a color picker, instead we are choosing a color from our own uh, drawable resource. Now, uh, I have used this uh, color picker library in my uh, latest course about uh, Android and the web app development with the back endless platform. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, I have changed the prices of uh, each and every course uh, on my own platform. From now on, you can access and buy uh, each course on my platform for only $9.99. And uh, that's not all. Uh, whenever you open up this uh, buy page and uh, scroll down below, uh, then you will see an extra option which will allow you to get uh, an extra huge discount and buy the second course for only $5.99. Okay, so now let me show you uh, the actual uh, color picker uh, library. So this library is developed uh, by uh, uh, Skydose, which is uh, one of the most uh, popular uh, open source developer on uh, GitHub at the moment. So down below you can find some more information about this exact library. Uh, the only dependency that you need to add is uh, this one. And there are a couple of different uh, custom UI components that uh, you can use with this library. So I'm going to show you that with our own project. So we have this uh, image color picker. Uh, then we have uh, this uh, HSV uh, color picker. Uh, we have an uh, uh, alpha slider. We have a uh, brightness slider. And we have this uh, alpha tile that will allow us to just uh, display a certain color, including the transparency with the tiles. Okay, so now let's go back to our project so that I can show you uh, how this um, will actually work. So first I'm going to open up this uh, actual color picker, which I have shown you uh, at first uh, in this video. So uh, this one, okay. Uh, as you can see in this uh, color picker composable function, the first uh, thing I did, uh, I have called this uh, remember color picker controller. And this controller um, will basically allow us to control uh, our colors with uh, all those components. So uh, we are passing this uh, controller to basically each and every uh, custom component of that library. Like in this example, as you can see, the first component here is actually uh, alpha tile, which is just uh, displaying those colors. And we are passing that the same controller to uh, alpha tile, to this uh, HSV color picker, and to those two components like uh, alpha slider and a uh, brightness slider as well. Uh, we can also check out the actual uh, source code of those uh, functions, for example, this uh, HSV color picker, as you can see, it accepts uh, parameters like the controller, a uh, will image bitmap, and on color change lambda. So in this uh, on color change lambda, we can, for example, just try to log a simple value. So uh, we can say a color, and here we can say it dot uh, uh, color, so we can access uh, the actual color from this uh, HSV color picker, or we can access uh, the hex color code as well. So it's up to you, of course. And now let me just run this example so I can show you that uh, whenever we uh, select one of those uh, colors, uh, we will be able to uh, log that uh, color to our uh, log. So there we go. As you can see, whenever I uh, move this uh, color wheel, I will be able to log here that the selected color 
in my uh, Android Studio. So you can do whatever you want with uh, that uh, hex color code or with a regular uh, color as well. Uh, next we have this uh, alpha slider and uh, it also accepts uh, many different parameters. Uh, so basically each and every component from this library is uh, uh, highly customizable and you can change for example border radius, uh, border size, border color, uh, wheel radius, color paint uh, and also tile uh, odd and even color. So here I'm going to just um, show you how those two parameters will actually work on our alpha slider. So as you can see by default, those uh, tiles are basically those rectangles and the one uh, has a color of white, while the second one has a color of gray. However, now I'm going to change that and apply a uh, black and white color to those uh, tiles in our alpha slider. And now as you can see, uh, those uh, colors uh, will basically change. So this component and all other components are uh, highly customizable, as I already mentioned. And the second um, uh, thing we're trying to show you here is uh, our actual uh, image color picker. So it contains basically the same thing as our first color picker uh, composable function. Only this time, instead of this uh, HSV color picker, we are using an image color picker, okay? And to this uh, image color picker, I'm just passing one uh, custom uh, drawable resource that I have prepared especially for this project. And again, this color picker also accepts that uh, same controller. I have specified here a palette content uh, scale, so that's just um, another enum class that represents a rule to apply to scale a source rectangle to be uh, inscribed into a destination. So bottom line, it's uh, very easy and convenient to use uh, uh, this uh, color picker library. Of course, we can uh, uh, add our own component here, uh, like for example, this uh, box and I can um, uncomment or actually comment out this actual uh, alpha tile and use the box instead. So in this case, let me just uh, see, okay. In this case, uh, I have just passed this um, controller to a uh, box uh, background modifier. As you can see, now we are using this uh, box and not this uh, alpha tile. But uh, since we are not using their uh, official component, whenever we change this alpha value, we will not be able to see those uh, tiles in our uh, box, uh, composable of course. But the most important thing here is that we can uh, actually extract uh, all those colors from our controller. And since this controller is passed to each and every component we have here, that's how we are able to retrieve the exact uh, same color that we select with uh, each and every other component, okay? So this controller uh, has a couple of different um, uh, functions and properties which we can use. So we have a selected color, we have selected point, which represents the uh, point F of the currently selected coordinate. So here we have a couple of different functions that we can customize by ourselves. So we can change, for example, the wheel color. Uh, we can enable or disable this uh, color picker controller. Uh, we can set the wheel alpha, a uh, wheel image map, uh, paint, radius, and basically everything else that uh, you may need with this uh, actual library. And uh, like I showed in this video, this library uh, will allow you to use a couple of different custom components like this uh, image color picker, a regular color picker, alpha tile, alpha slider, and the brightness slider as well. So this project uh, will be available down in the video description, so don't worry about that. Also, uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die.